Hey, it's Paul. Today we're going to look at making our first React virtual reality application. Our app is simply going to view a panoramic image. So we're going to keep it nice and simple, but you will see how to create your app and view it inside of the browser. So let's start off by running npm install react-vr-cli-g. This will install the command line interface for the React VR project. We can then initialize a new React VR app by saying react-vr init. And I'm going to call my application panoramic. This will make a new project directory and download the dependencies for our project. As you can see, everything has now been installed and we can CD into panoramic and then run npm start to initialize our development server. If we then head over to localhost colon 8081 slash VR, this is the default port, we can of course see our application. We're then presented with the word hello and we can pan around the room. If we take a look at the code that has been generated inside of index.vr.js, we can see that we are importing React from React, so it's a standard React application. And then we have the React VR specific stuff like panoramic, text, view, app registry, and so on. Now React VR is built on top of 3.js, but we can see inside of here we have our view, panel, text, etc. If we change this text to Paul, or a word of your choosing, and refresh the page, we now get a different piece of text. We get Paul, so it's quite easy to render to the screen. And this is done with this text element here. We could change the background color of this, the font size, the font weight, and a variety of other things. But let's remove the text for now. And let's add a different panoramic image, the source of which at the moment is this assets folder and the chessworld.jpg. So if we check out our static assets, we have this chessworld.jpg. I'm going to replace this with a different panoramic image. So I'm going to add instead panel.jpg, and that's the name of my panoramic image that I've added here. And if we refresh the page, we can pan around the screen. And this reflects the 360 degree image viewer on Facebook, as it's the same component that they use. So there we have it. We've made our first React VR application. You've also added a panoramic image and you can pan around the screen to view your panoramic image in 360 degrees. Let me know if you'd like to see more React VR. It's definitely an interesting topic and there's quite a few things that we could do with this. I'm especially excited because obviously it's web dev stuff and that means it's super accessible and we should be able to do some interesting things with that. As always, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to stay updated. Check out the Learn Ionic 3 course. I've got a link to that in the description. And I'll see you very soon in the next video.